If you're hungry for a taste of Walt Disney World history, well, you've come to the right place. You got a minute? Then let's put 60 seconds on the clock and talk about the history of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. In the mid-1990s, then-Vice President of Epcot George Kalagridis was looking for ways to solve an attendance issue hurting Walt Disney World. While crowds were big during summers and holidays, they dipped during off times and particularly in the fall. The solution was a food and wine event to attract foodies and locals to Epcot and fill an empty spot in the calendar. The first Epcot International Food and Wine Festival was in 1996 and lasted for 30 days. It included around 20 booths representing different countries, in addition to the 11 existing World Showcase pavilions. Food and drink items cost $1-$2 to $2 each, and celebrity chefs offered seminars and tastings. The recipe proved to be a winning one, as of course the festival still follows the same formula today. Over the years, more features were added including the Eat to the Beat concert series that brings in musical acts, many past their prime but still strong entertainers, and a Run Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon weekend. This year, the festival runs a whopping 87 days, and instead of being a marketing ploy to boost attendance, it's one of Epcot's major annual draws, sure to fill the park, as well as your Instagram feed. Thank you for watching this episode of One Minute Disney. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll subscribe on YouTube or the podcast service of your choice, and follow along on social media for all the fun Disney content we're producing here at the Diz Quiz. So until next time, I've been Tommy T, this has been One Minute Disney, and we will see you real soon. Bye-bye.